March, the Senate Intelligence Committee held its first hearing into Russian meddling in the 2016 election, where Republican Senator Jim Lankford of Oklahoma had this exchange with former FBI Special Agent Clint Watts on why the Russian attack on this election took hold. My question is, first, why did he think he could get away with it this time? This is not new for the Russians. They've done this for a long time across Europe but it was much more engaging this time in our election. Why now? Mr. Watts. I think this answer is very simple and is what no one is really saying in this room, which is part of the reason active measures have worked in this U.S. election is because the commander in chief has used Russian active measures at time uh, against his opponents. On 14 August 2016, his campaign chairman, after a debunked insurrection. When you say his, who's, who's his? Paul Manafort okay. uh, cited the fake insurrection story as a terrorist attack on CNN, and he used it as a talking point. Uh, on 11 October, uh, President Trump stood on a stage and cited a, what appears to be a fake news story from Sputnik News that disappeared from the Internet. Uh, he denies the intel from the United States about Russia. Uh, he claimed that the election could be rigged. That was the number one theme pushed by RT, Sputnik News, white outlets, all the way up until the election. Uh, he's cl made claims of voter fraud, that President Obama is not a citizen, that, you know, uh, Congressman Cruz is not a citizen. So part of the reason active measures works, and it does today in terms of Trump Tower being wiretapped, is because they parrot the same lines. So... Putin is correct. He, he can say that he's not influencing anything because he's just putting out his stance. But until we get a firm basis on fact and fiction in our own, in our own country, uh, get some agreement about the facts, whether it be do I support the intelligence community or a story I read on my Twitter feed, we're going to have a big problem. I can tell you right now today, gray outlets that are Soviet pushing accounts tweet at President Trump during high volumes when they know he's online and they push conspiracy theories. So if he is to click on one of those or cite one of those, it just proves Putin correct. Wow. Uh, Clint Watts will be our guest in about 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, that's um, frightening. Okay. Frightening. That's and by the way, thing. for the record, we were talking yesterday about Republican senators mm -hmm. that are well, starting to really step into the gap here. I guess. And say enough is enough. There's well, Lankford yeah. from a very conservative state. Mm -hmm basically setting this guy up yeah. to talk and, about and, and how Putin, encouraging him to Putin, go on. How yeah. Trump is Putin's dupe. Well, yeah. you have adults running the Senate Intelligence Committee well, investigation. Yes, that's the, that's yeah. the big difference. Yeah, actually, it really appears so. Right. And that, that changes the complexion of this investigation. That clearly is not the case right. in the House, uh, where you have yeah. Nunes going off on... Very you know, undisciplined, I mean, partisan, not just undisciplined, secretive, inappropriate, and totally not credible. Wrong. Just yeah. plain wrong. Um,